Yenair is the first month of the Maisie year Berber languages, Arzeg was a Maisie, or the Maisie year used since antiquity by the Amazian in North Africa. Its first day corresponds to the first day of January of the Julian calendar, which is shifted 13 days compared to the Gregorian calendar that is 14th January of every year. Probably due to a mistake of the first cultural associations asking to return to this traditional celebration, the opinion that the traditional date is the evening of 13 January which is very widespread especially in Morocco, Libya and the Canary Islands. Whereas in Algeria is 12 January. On December 27, 2017, Algeria's President Abdelaziz Bouteflika decided to recognize Yenair as a public holiday celebrated on 12th January of every year. It was celebrated for the first time on January 12, 2018. Contents 1 Origins 2 Etymology 3 The celebration and the tradition for immense human zoo and Yenair dinner of the first day of January 5 An opportunity to exchange wishes for prosperity 6 Bibliography 7 See also Eight references origins The Berber Academy was based on the fact that North Africans used to celebrate Yenair every year, decreeing it as a Maisie New Year. It was Emer Nagati who put forward a Berber calendar in 1980, based on a landmark event in the history of the Maisie people, an undeniable historical fact to make it the zero point of the calendar. His choice fell on the year 950 BC which corresponds to the date when the Berber king Shashankai also spelled Chiknak or Chiknak was enthroned pharaoh of Egypt and founded the 22 dynasty which reigned over Egypt until the year 715 BC. This Berber king had managed to unify Egypt and then invade Judah. It is said of him that he seized the treasures of the Temple of Solomon in Jerusalem in 926 BC. This date is mentioned in the Bible and would be, therefore, the first date of Berber history on written support. King Sheshwank is mentioned in the Bible under the name of Asak and Shishak in ancient Hebrew. This version remains highly contested. Another version that indicates that the origin of this festival is only a tradition that celebrates the day when we begin to pick the olives. Etymology According to one theory, Yenayer means first month, deriving from a Maisie, Yan equal one and Ayer equal month. However, because the Julian Berber calendar uses Latin-derived names for all the other months like most European languages, it is perhaps more likely that it derives from Latin Januarius, and is cognate to English January, Italian Janeo, Spanish Enero, and Maltese Janer, and it being derived from Yen Iris a folk etymology citation needed. The celebration and the tradition Yen Air is very widespread in the Maghreb. It is considered as national celebration. The Berber year 2972 corresponds to the present year 2022. It is a public holiday in Algeria. Immense human zoo and Yen Air dinner of the first day of January. The meal prepared for this circumstance is hearty and different from the everyday ones. The rites are done in a symbolic manner. They aim to eliminate the famine, to augur the future and the change, and to warm welcome the invisible forces the Berber believed in. For the preparation of Emensi and Yenair, meaning dinner of January, the Kabyle uses the meat of the sacrificed animal asphalt to complement the couscous, a fundamental element of the Berber culinary art. The participants of the evening of the Sous area South Morocco will be able to enjoy the Berber gastronomy by feasting of tagula, a dish made of barley with rancid butter and argan oil, and burkukes, a dish prepared with vegetable and pasta in the form of grains. An opportunity to exchange wishes for prosperity. Yenair symbolizes longevity and it is often the occasion to include other familiar events. First haircut for little boys. Marriage under the good omen of Yenair. Agricultural initiation rites. The Berbers send their children to the farm to pick themselves fruits and vegetables. Shashank I. Head compare seat up in Shashank I Egyptian NQ. Rain C. 943-22 BC also known as Shashank or Sheshwank or Sheshwank I was a pharaoh of ancient Egypt and the founder of the 22nd dynasty of Egypt. Of Meshwesh ancestry, Shashankai was the son of Nimlita, great chief of the Ma, 
and his wife Tenchpa, a daughter of a great chief of the Ma herself. He is presumed to be the Shishak mentioned in the Hebrew Bible, and his exploits are carved on the Babastite portal at Karnak. Contents 1 Chronology 2 Biblical Shishak 3 Origins and Family 4 Foreign Policy 5 Domestic Policy 6 Burial 7 Notes 8 References 9 Bibliography 10 External Links Chronology The conventional dates for his reign, as established by Kenneth Kitchen, are 945-24 BC but his timeline has recently been revised upwards by a few years to 943-22 BC, since he may well have lived for up to two to three years after his successful campaign in Canaan. Dubious discuss conventionally dated 925 BC as Edward Went of the University of Chicago noted 1976. On page 276 of his JNES 35 book review of Kitchen's study of the Third Intermediate Period, there is no certainty that Shawshank's 925 BC campaign terminated just prior to this king's death a year later in 924 BC. The English Egyptologist Morris Beerbeer also dated Shawshank Isaac's session between 945-40 BC in his seminal 1975 book concerning the genealogies of Egyptian officials who served during the late New Kingdom and Third Intermediate Period. Beer Breer based his opinion on biblical evidence collated by W. Albright in a BASOR 130 paper. This development would also account for the mostly unfinished state of decorations of Shawshank's building projects at the Great Temple of Karnak where only scenes of the King's Palestinian military campaign are fully carved. Building materials would first have had to be extracted and architectural planning performed for his great monumental projects here. Such activities usually took up to a year to complete before work was even begun. This would imply that Shawshank had likely lived for a period in excess of one year after his 925 BC campaign. On the other hand, if the Karnak inscription was concurrent with Shawshank's campaign into Canaan, the fact that it was left unfinished would suggest this campaign occurred in the last year of Shawshank's reign. This possibility would also permit his 945 BC accession date to be slightly lowered to 943 BC. A 2005 study by Rolf Krauss of Ancient Egyptian Chronology suggests that Shawshank came to power in 943 BC rather than 945 BC as is conventionally assumed based on epigraph evidence from the great D.A.K.H.L.A. Stella, which dates to year 5 of his reign. Krauss and David Warburton write in the 2006 book Ancient Egyptian Chronology. The chronology of early Dian 22 depends on dead reckoning. The sum of the highest attested regnal dates for Osirk and Second, Takalot I, Osirk and I, and Shashank I, added to 841 B.C. as year 1 of Shashank III yields 938 BC at the latest for year 1 of Shawshank I. However the large DAKHLA Stella provides a lunar date in the form of a WR feast in year 5 of Shawshank I, yielding 943 BC as his year 1. The year 5 WR feast is recorded to have been celebrated at DAKHLA Oasis on IV per day 25 and Krauss exploration of the astronomical data leads him to conclude that the only fit within the period of 950 to 930 BC places the accession of Shawshank I between December 944 and November 943 BC or 943 BC for the most most part. However, Dr. Anthony Leahy has suggested that the identification of the WR Festival of Seth as a lunar festival is hypothetical, and thus its occurrence on the first day of a lunar month an assumption. Neither has been proven incontrovertibly. Thus far, however, only Dr. Kenneth Kitchen is on record as sharing the same academic view. A 2010 study by Thomas Schneider argued that Shawshank reigned from 962 to 941 BCE. Edo Koch in his 2021 book considered Schneider's chronology of Egyptian kings as a valuable integrative study. However, recent archaeomagnetic dating at Beth Sheen, one of three early sites that could have been destroyed by Shashank I, 
shows 68.2% probability the destruction occurred between 935 and 900 BC, and 95.4% probability it occurred between 940 and 879 BC. Biblical Shishak See also, Shishak Shashankai is frequently identified with the Egyptian king Shishak Q, transliterated, referred to in the Hebrew Bible at 1 Kings 11-40, 14 to 25 and 2 Chronicles 12 to 2. According to these passages, Jeroboam fled from Solomon and stayed with Shishak until Solomon died, and Shishak invaded Judah, mostly the area of Benjamin, during the fifth year of the reign of Rehoboam, taking with him most of the treasures of the temple built by Solomon. The Egyptologist Kenneth Kitchen claims that Shashank's successor, Osirkanai, Levished 383 tons of gold and silver on Egyptian temples during the first four years of his reign and correlated directly to the looting, while the archaeologist Israel Finkelstein proposes that the looting narrative in question should probably be seen as a theological construct rather than as historical references. Shishak Sausakim was also related to Jeroboam. The wife of Jeroboam is a character in the Hebrew Bible. She is unnamed in the Masoretic text, but according to the Septuagint, she was an Egyptian princess called Ono. And Sausakim gave to Jeroboam Ono the eldest sister of the Kamina his wife, to him as wife. She was great among the king's daughters. Origins and family Shashankai was the son of Nimlet A and Tenspe. His paternal grandparents were the chief of the Ma Shashank A and his wife Meridin was Khit A. Prior to his reign, Shashankai had been the commander-in-chief of the Egyptian army, and chief advisor to his predecessor Psazen II as well as the father-in-law of Psazenish daughter Matkar. He also held his father's title of Great Chief of the Ma or Meshwesh, which is an Egyptian word for ancient Libyans. His ancestors had settled in Egypt during the late New Kingdom, probably at Heraclepolis Magna, though Manetho claims Shashank himself came from Bubastis, a claim for which no supporting physical evidence has yet been discovered. Significantly, his uncle Osirkin the Elder had already served on the throne for at least six years in the preceding 21st dynasty. Hence, Shashank I's rise to power was not wholly unexpected. As king, Shashank chose his eldest son, Osirkin I, as his successor and consolidated his authority over Egypt through marriage alliances and appointments. He assigned his second son, Iyuprata the prominent position of high priest of Ammon at Thebes as well as the title of governor of Upper Egypt and commander of the army to consolidate his authority over the Thebaid. Finally, Shah Shankai designated his third son, Nimlet B, as the leader of the army at Heraclepolis in Middle Egypt. Foreign Policy He pursued an aggressive foreign policy in the adjacent territories of the Middle East, towards the end of his reign. This is attested, in part, by the discovery of a statue base bearing his name from the Lebanese city of Biblis, part of a monumental stella from Megiddo bearing his name, and a list of cities in the region comprising Syria, Philistia, Phoenicia, the Negev, and the Kingdom of Israel, among various topographical lists inscribed on the walls of temples of Ammon at al Hiba and Karnak. The fragment of a stella bearing his cartouche from Megiddo has been interpreted as a monument Shashank erected there to commemorate his victory. Some of these conquered cities include ancient Israelite fortresses such as Megiddo, Tanj and Shechem. There are other problems with Shashank being the same as the biblical Shishak. Shashank's Karnak list does not include Jerusalem his biggest prize according to the Bible. His list focuses on places either north or south of Judah, as if he did not raid the center. The fundamental problem facing historians is establishing the aims of the two accounts and linking up the information in them. There have been some possible suggestions and proposals from scholars regarding this issue. Some argue that the mention of Jerusalem was erased from the list over time. Others believe that Rehoboam's tribute to Shashank saved the city from destruction and therefore from the Bubastite portals lists. Some scholars even 
even proposed that Shawshank claimed the conquest that he did not enact and copied the list of conquered territories from an old pharaoh's conquest list as an addendum to his foreign policy. Shawshank I carved a report of campaigns in Nubia and Israel, with a detailed list of conquests in Israel. This is the first military action outside Egypt formally commemorated for several centuries. This report of conquest is the only surviving late Iron Age text concerning Canaan. Domestic policy Libyan concepts of rule allowed for the parallel existence of leaders who were related by marriage and blood. Shawshank and his immediate successors used that practice to consolidate their grasp on all of Egypt. Shawshank terminated the hereditary succession of the high priesthood of Ammon. Instead he and his successors appointed men to the position, most often their own sons, a practice that lasted for a century. Burial Shawshank I was succeeded by his son Osirkan I after a reign of 21 years. According to the British Egyptologist Aidan Dodson, no trace has yet been found of the tomb of Shawshank I. The sole funerary object linked to Shawshank I is a canopic chest of unknown provenance that was donated to the Egyptian Museum of Berlin B. 11,000 by Julius Isaac in 1891. This may indicate his tomb was looted in antiquity. But this hypothesis is unproven. Egyptologists differ over the location of Shawshank I's burial and speculate that he may have been buried somewhere in Tanis perhaps in one of the anonymous royal tombs here or in Balbastus. However, Troy Sagrillo in a Gram 205-2005 paper observes that there are only a bare handful of inscribed blocks from Tanis that might name the king that is Shawshank I and none of these come from an inch site to building complex contemporary with his reign. Hence, it is more probable that Shawshank was buried in another city in the Egyptian Delta. Sigrillo offers a specific location for Shawshank's burial the Ta Temple enclosure of Memphis and notes that this king built fairly widely in the area, undoubtedly including a pylon and forecourt at the Ta Temple kitchen, TIP 1996. Pages 149-50. It is, therefore, not completely improbable that he that is, Shawshank I, built his tomb in the region. The funerary cult surrounding his house of millions of years of Shawshank, beloved of Ammon was functioning several generations after its establishment at the Temple Ibrahim Ali Sa'yed 1996, pages 14. The house of millions of years of Shawshank. Beloved of Ammon was probably the forecourt and pylon of the Ta Temple, which, if the royal necropolis at Tanis, Sa, and Mendes are taken as models, could very well have contained a royal burial within it or the Temenos. Sigrillo concludes by observing that if Shashank I's burial place was located at Memphis, it would go far in explaining why this king's funerary cult lasted for some time at the site after his death. While Shawshank's tomb is currently unknown, the burial of one of his prominent state officials at Thebes, the third prophet of Ammon Jed Tohiufunk, was discovered intact in tomb DB320 in the 19th century. Inscriptions on Jed Tohiufunk's mummy bandages show that he died in or after year 11 of this king. His mummy was discovered to contain various gold bracelets, amulets and precious carnelian objects, and give a small hint of the vast treasures that would have adorned Shashank I's tomb.